Hi, Karee. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Hi, Kim. Oh, wonderful. So as you know, we are featuring our new career exploration class for visual communication students. Yeah. And as you launched it this past fall, I'd mm -hmm. like to share it with the ADM team. Could nice. you tell me a little bit about the career exploration class? Absolutely, I would love to. So the career exploration and visual communication um, course is dedicated to helping students explore their career options in this field before they get too far into their degree plan so that they can see, you know, what is out there for me? What are some job opportunities? What do I have to look forward to if I continue along in this path? Okay, wonderful. And so why is this class needed in our programs? Oh, why? I mean, how much time do we have? I mean, let me just tell you, you remember being a student? I don't know about you, but you're just like, fumbling into a degree plan, you kind of like it, you don't know what's gonna happen. They kind of tell you, here's a job, graphic designer. Like, what does that mean? What am I gonna do as a graphic designer? So it's needed to give students a more tangible and realistic approach to what to expect in our industry. Because it's changing so much because of technology. You know, when I was in school, there was no social media manager. Like, what? There was no digital marketing. You know, careers are popping up all the time every year because of the advancement of technology. So it's needed to give students space. This is what I said. I wanted to give students space to think about their career and plan for it. So they have 16 weeks to really think about who do I want to be at the end of this degree plan and where I'm going. So that was the goal for this course. Okay, no, so I, that's really cool. And so I'm wondering what kind of projects do students do? Okay, so I looked at this approach from going internal, external, and then back internal of really putting myself back as a student when I was in school, what did I wish I knew then that I know now? So some of the projects include starting with that internal um, competency is looking within. So they create a vision board of their life, not just their professional life, but your personal life. Where do you want to go? What kind of life do you want to live? Um, where do you want to live? How much money do you want to make? Really thinking about all of these things of just saying, hmm, crafting that vision for their life. And then we start into some career mapping. We talk about personal branding. Um, oh, next week is going to be so good. Well, actually, it's coming up this week. We talk about the pros and cons of social media. Ooh. And let me tell you, we just did a little taste and the chat was on fire. I'm like, it's a waste of time. I love it. Gonna, I, it was like, oh, this is going to be so good. So your branding, how to write a resume, getting on LinkedIn. Why should you have a LinkedIn profile? Um, I've actually had pro career professionals come and speak to our course, which was so awesome. Um, one of my guy friends, I've known him for a very long time. He now works at Amazon in their um, business end, the back end of Amazon in their web side. And he was just talking about, you know, being a generalist versus a specialist. Just all these little terms that sometimes, you know, you got, they need to hear it from somebody else to help them. So they get that perspective of meeting professionals. Um, he's out in California, so he gave him a taste of what that's like to be in, you know, California, that tech bubble out there. But um, yeah, so it's just a mix of some goodness in the class. That's so good. And you're talking about how students seem really engaged, especially thinking about the social media um, portion of it and how do they represent themselves and their branding. So what other feedback have you gotten from students on the course? Yes, I've gotten some great feedback. Um, one of my students, she is so awesome. Um, she's um, a veteran. Uh, she's an artist. She went to school years ago. She's coming back to school. She's a little bit, you know, she's telling me like, what am I doing with my life? Like, I'm older than everybody else. And I'm like, what you're doing is you're doing your life. You're planning your life. You're still here. You're still learning. You're still growing. So for her, who already had a degree, she told me, I really wish I had a class like this back then. 
because I didn't know what to do after I graduated. Uh, so she has an art degree in fine arts, but she was like, what kind of job do I get? How do I prepare myself out? And not just at that last minute, you know, four weeks before you graduate with a degree, you know, how do you start planning? So I've gotten some really good feedback with the course so far. And Curry, how are we able to fit this into our 60 credit hours? I feel like we're always trying to jam pack another course in. How do we manage this this time? Man, I have to tell you, like, thank goodness for Gail, because when I came to her about this class, which I was so nervous, it was just on my heart. And as life would have it, she was already thinking about this class. Like, so the department was already um, planning for this. And I came, I was like, Gail, I need to meet with you to talk about something, which is Gail, but yet I'm always so scared to talk to Gail. Like, <laughs> she's the boss, right? I'm like, hi, I just want to suggest something. And she's like, great, because we're actually planning this. Mm -hmm. So we did, you know, have to cut a few credits from our portfolio course. And this is not your full, you know, uh, typical class plus a lab and it's not a four credit or three credit course. Um, so even though your credit hour may be really small, what you get out of it is so big. So I don't want students to look at it and be like, mm, that's like a one credit course. Why would I take that when I could take something else? It's not about that credit in, in the end. It is what you'll be able, oh, excuse me, what you'll be able to walk away with that matters. Gosh, it makes me think of like an acai berry or something very like nutritionally packed and dense. Yes, yes, <laughs> exactly. Get your antioxidants. <laughs> Get those antioxidants. Yes. Well, Curry, I think we're going to have a lot of ADM staff coming to you and faculty wanting to know more. I think it's going to be excellent for students. And I'd love to see this throughout our other workforce programs. Is it okay if I include your contact information in this blurb? Absolutely, please do. I'm telling you, and guess what? It's fun for me too. So any teacher out there, like I do some of those assignments. I was thinking about, hmm, I need a new vision board for my life. What does my life look like? You know, what, what am I thinking about? What's, oh, and let me tell you, because you got to do what you teach, right? So I have been thinking about, Kree, what is your social media presence like right now? Deep thinking about no. I mean, it's like, uh, am I utilizing these platforms to build my connections and build my network? That's what they're learning about with social media, that it's not just on there to post pictures of your margarita or <laughs> your, your pet or whatnot, but are you really building your network in these times? Mm -hmm um so that you have better opportunities when you go out in the workforce so please i would love for email me contact me i would love to talk to you about this course oh, well you're an absolute pleasure i'm so glad that we've got this course launched off the ground and mm -hmm. can't wait to see what comes next thank you so you much for thank you kim